Happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ryan, your host, and I thought we'd go ahead and uh, take a look at the last movie to close out this, basically close out the month of October. We're going to go back to, we're going to go back to the Universal Monsters and head back to the 1930s, specifically 1936, the sequel to Dracula. Dracula's daughter, and once again, I'm watching. I'm watching this off of the Dracula Legacy Collection. I'm giving a big shout out to Jazzy Jeff if he's watching this. So yeah, I am watching it off of the Dracula set. Now this is the sequel to the classic Dracula. Now I did cover the original Dracula from 1931, and I thought that was a really, really well made movie. And I thought that was that was that was such a fun movie. Dracula's daughter, not so much. Um, just like Dracula, it is it is pretty slow. And that was my big thing about these old movies from the thirties. They can be very slow at times. But this this one focus on it picks up the events after Dracula. I'm gonna put this down since unfortunately I can't fit it on that set, so we'll leave it right there. So it focused this time on the daughter of Dracula, and it's sort of more like, sort of more like a character study, and they're trying to, these people are trying to find out clues, but they don't really know who this woman is. Then they realize mid for the film, she's actually Dracula, but she's not the Dracula that wants to suck your blood. That Dracula, no, this Dracula uses a medallion to hypnotize people. And I, I have no, I'm not even going to pronounce who, who Dracula's daughter is. So I'll give the rundown of the cast. Let me pull out the card right there. I'll go ahead and work on that later. So I'll put that right, I'll just put it right here. So anyways, so here's the cast of Dracula's daughter. Yeah, basically the, yeah, the only actor who comes back from this is Edward Von Slow who is Van Helsing in this. But in this in this installment we got Otto Kerger, Glory Holden, and Margaret Churchill. It was directed by uh, Lambert Hill Hilliard. I think this was produced by Carl Lumley. I'm not sure. I don't think I don't think he is producing this. It's it's part of his presents. So basically like I said, oh Countess Murray Mar Maria Zizika, Glory Holden is the uh, is the daughter portrays the daughter of Dracula. So yeah, um, trying to think who else who who is yeah and uh, Doctor Garth. So let's focus on Doctor Garth, who's trying to find this uh, female who's like trying to find out if this is Dracula or not, something like that. But like I said, she uses a medallion to hypnotize people, sort of that way. The ending is actually is actually good. The ending is really good, and yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so most of the time the movie's just them talking, and yeah, the whole movie is entirely of them just talking. It, it's crazy though. Now I now when it comes to spooky movies, I don't mind a lot of talking, but there's just so much of it that I felt lost with watching this film. And I real it's really hard for me to review something as old as it is. Hang on one sec, guys. Sorry, my throat's a little dry right now. So basically, yeah, um I'm trying to think what else. To say about this, um, trying to trying to word it out though, yeah. So Van Helsing got Garth got to Transylvania to to find this woman, who's who's Dracula's daughter. But the black and white cinematography is phenomenal. is It's really it's really well done. Now it is really really good. Um, basically yeah, it's. I like a lot of key scenes. The black and white cinematography I think looks better than color. You have beautiful set pieces. I think the actress who plays Dracula's daughter did a really good job. 
really good, really, really good job. And she's just a lot of fun to watch, though. Uh, some great set designs, good costume design, just like Dracula. They must have spent, the budget must have been a lot back then. This is 1936. The budget back then, equivalent to the budget of films nowadays made, is a lot different these days. So, say for example, budgets like, I don't know, now budgets are like 10 million. Back in these days, you can have like a $300 budget and it still looks good. I mean, you know, when you make a film, especially a black and white movie, you want to have that. So, is there anything I didn't like about this film? Um, it's a little too long. I, I kind of wish it was a little shorter. But it, it's good to watch. Again, it's less, just like Dracula. It is very slow at times. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. So, yeah, I didn't really wa review it that much. But what I've watched was really good. We do get the Universal Pictures. But the very end says the end. A Universal Picture. So... Not gonna give away the ending. The ending is really good. I think. I think honestly, the ending is much better than uh, Dracula's ending. So, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna unbox this again. If you want to see me show you the package and everything, just go watch my Dracula review. You can watch that. So, yeah, I am not gonna have enough time to go to the other ones. I will get to Son of Dracula and House of Dracula sometime down the road. But, yeah, I wanted to kind of end with a sort of a spooky film and universal monster film. I actually think the acting is very strong in my opinion. So, that's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, final verdict, should you see Dracula's Daughter? And, yes, if you're a big hit film buff, you're going to want to check this out. For me, I like discovering these older movies. I think they're very, very good and very well made. So yeah, I am recommending Dracula's Daughter. Not as good as Dracula, but for a sequel to Dracula, yes, I can recommend that. If you want a bit of film history, I can recommend this. So not only not only is it good, not only not only is it good, but it's also film history. I like discovering older movies that I've never discovered. That's what the fun of this channel is in discovering film history. The Universal Monster movies are just, they're good. I was going to get to the other ones, but I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and just watch Drac Dracula's Daughter. Maybe down the road I'll get to the other Universal Monster movies. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna say uh, a goodbye and, and a good night. And I just want to tell you guys, happy Halloween. I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween while you're watching spooky, mo spooky movies or not. I had, a great, I had a great October covering a lot of these spooky movies from the golden age of films all the way to the newer ones. Well, sort of newer ones. I didn't go into the 60s horror, but maybe next Halloween I'll definitely do some of the hammer horrors. I just didn't have enough time and... Really, I had a lot to get past, but whatever it is, whatever you celebrate, have a spooky, spooky, fantastic, happy Halloween. I hope you guys all went trick-or-treating, or you're like me and you watch a bunch of spooky movies. But yeah, definitely check out Dracula's Daughter. Follow me and all that. Click the bell, like, it helps a lot with the channel. So, until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.